My girlfriend is taking a trip with several guy co-workers and I'm worried I should stop it. So my girlfriend is taking a trip to Vegas with co-workers who are all taking some time off. Not usually a problem. However, it's with four guys. One other girl. They're all single. Fairly flirty with her. And one of them has tried to kiss her while drunk at a party once that I was there for. How do I best go forward talking with her about this? I feel 100% confident in my trust with her. But I obviously don't trust these guys that'll be sharing an Airbnb with them. Is it controlling to tell her I don't want her going? We're young in our 20s so sharing the Airbnb is to save money but I don't feel comfortable with her. There at all. Damn if I was her. I would not go at all knowing that a co-worker there has even tried kissing me. Fuck that. A co-worker has tried to kiss her while drunk but she is going with him. And other guys who were flirty with her. On a trip to Vegas and stay in the same Airbnb? I trust my wife. But if she were to propose something similar to me. She wouldn't. I would point out how ridiculous and how disrespectful to me it sounds. If after that she would be hell-bent on going. She would be enjoying it as a single girl. Expect the, I was drunk and it just happened, and, it was a mistake, he means nothing to me. Just be like Pete. https colon slash slash archive dot md slash ooled 2. Look your dilemma has nothing to do with trust or control. So let's take that SHT and get it out of the way. Because it's misleading the conversation you need to have with her about her being responsible for herself and making the right decisions about her person and her own safety. From the brief you say about her, she comes across as rather trusting and naive. Don't want to rock the boat. Cause no hiccups. So you need to help her grow the FK up by letting her know that she is allowing herself to be in a very unsafe situation. Ask her how she plans on handling future drunken encounters with sexual assault guy? How did he treat her after the incident at work? If the attempts continued, what makes her think it won't escalate when dude has open access? Will the Airbnb have locks on her bedroom door? The bathrooms? What are the sleeping arrangements? Are there six bedrooms? If not are the two girls sharing a bed? What happens if single girl hooks up with one of the guys? Will that affect where she sleeps? How is she gonna limit, control her drinking? Did she even think to plan that far ahead? If not why does she feel she'll be safe when you both know she's deluding herself by not wanting to? Believe in anything less than the Disney version of people. Get ready for this response. But they would never do that. You need to answer with, but if they do, what are you gonna do? Quote. Would she let you go if the situation was reversed? So you're thinking the guts will try and get her totally drunk? Then what? Would she tell you if anything wrong happened? If she has no reservations or hesitation about going and she hasn't done anything to assure you her loyalty, all you can do is talk and subtly tell her. I don't understand why people are so careful in speaking their inner thoughts with their partners as if they fear they ll judge or worse leave them. What kind of relationship is that? Take a leap of faith. You cannot control or supervise her actions. Just be prepared to implement the consequences if things happen against your values. That's all. What's the point in wrecking your head and playing detective? The day if it arrives. Take the harder but right route. Good luck. I think this isn't a question of whether you should stop it. Which you can't anyway. But a question of communication. I'd tell her that you're uncomfortable with the situation. Sharing an Airbnb with guys who've already hit on her and the plan of getting drunk together. 
I'd also tell her that you do trust her but it's not totally unlikely that those situations lead to drunken mistakes. Any reasonable person knows that several factors like those put together. Alcohol. Sleeping in the same place. Partying. Attraction. Are making such an outcome more likely. I'd also tell her it's up to her if she feels that is a situation she feels good about to get involved in as the only person in a relationship in that group. Because if that situation does indeed lead to a drunken mistake you're out. No ifs and whens. That's what I would do. You're showing her all options. If nothing else this conversation will make her very aware while she's there and may not get as drunk of stop any advances right away since she's been alerted beforehand. One of them tried to kiss her so he will do this again when he gets a chance with her when they are again drunk so he can get away with his action. You are not happy with it so you can tell her this and expect her to stay with you rather than going trips with her friends who may cross their limits. If she ignores your feeling and still wants to go then this is a red flag in relationship. You can ask her to read this post of yours and comments that this post gets so she can understand how others think of this situation of hers and yours. The fact that she is going and has no problem with it tells me it's over for you. This sub has to stop using trust as a fucking crutch for shady behavior. You can't stop her. You can tell her your concerns and see how she reacts and make your decision of what you're gonna do. If she does go. If partying for a weekend is worth losing her BF so be it. Even if you do stop her or control her she obviously has no boundaries and you'll be dealing with shit like this the whole relationship. And you'll be crazy insecure and controlling. I went through dumb shit like this for 2.5 years before I found out my ex cheated on me. Now I know any red flag like this and I'm out don't need the stress in my life. Or the waste of time I can be out sleeping with people too why be loyal to a girl with no boundaries. It's not cool at all. Anyone in a healthy relationship with healthy boundaries would either take their s, o or kindly decline the offer. Vegas is all partying they'll be at the club getting drunk and dancing and the rest is history. Even if her intentions are pure it's a recipe for disaster. You can tell her you're worried about the other guys. And ask her what she thinks about that. But you can't tell her not to go. Your GF is about to have a train ran on her op. Mentally prepare for that. This entire situation is ripe for it. All single and flirty. Bless you for putting so much faith into the human race. Were you invited? Look there is controlling and then there is pointing out it's a stupid idea to spend time with a guy who tried to kiss her while you were there. Never mind in a situation where the point of the trip will be to drink lots of alcohol and you aren't there. It's not about trust. It's about her putting herself in a potentially dangerous situation. If I was you I'd say you don't want her to go. So much so that if she does. She's going single. You aren't going to spend the whole time worrying if this arsehole has done something. Drink is no excuse to try to kiss someone you know is in a relationship. It just brings out the arsehole more and use drink as an excuse. With how things are at the moment it'll be easy to pull out of the trip with her pick of excuses. It's gonna be a free for all. Yay I recon at least one of them is going to use the line what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Is it weird that maybe not if it's friends but at least one isn't a friend? What are the sleeping arrangements how much does she talk to these people? I recon something is going to happen. You need to talk to her. Explain your trust in her but worry for the other guys. You can't just stop her going. Especially if you trust her as you say. 
and she has to have a life outside of your relationship. You both do. But this is certainly something you need to discuss. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.